Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at, ladies and gents. I am Kura Isagami, your residence tinkerer and meta rotter, and this is the Metarox News Network, bringing you all the latest developments and happenings with our favorite pet fighting robot series. Now, it looks like we're going to be celebrating a lot of anniversaries this week, actually, because today marks not just the start of the celebration for the four and a half year anniversary of Metarox S, but it looks like to the day as well, July 23rd, 2024, at time of recording, we're also going to be celebrating the 25th anniversary of the original Metarot 2 and the 24th anniversary of the original Metarot 3. So we're going to be celebrating a lot of very momentous milestones just with this day and this particular anniversary alone. And when it comes to Metarot S, that is most certainly going to be no exception either. As you see here, we're most certainly going to be breaking boundaries with yet another specialized model of a commercial one already available, but with a form that had never ever seen the likes of a game before today. As you see here, we're getting a very specialized version of the ever iconic Psycho Cheese that was very well known in Metarot Spirits or Damashi based on how based on your preference of translation. But with that being said, there's still a handful of other exciting news that is incoming for this week as we start our celebration officially into the four and a half year anniversary of Metarot S. That being said, let's go ahead and jump right into what was officially announced for this week. Now, with the gotcha banners, thankfully it's going to be relatively quiet this week and going to be relatively easy on Ruby's guide. And the main model that we're getting this week is a KBT-05M variant, Saikachi's C, an anime variant of the iconic model, much like it was with getting an anime variant of Metabi from the, uh, for, from the uh, Metarot Day anniversary back in 2023. This new model, much like Meta VA, is sporting an entirely new kit, base form-wise anyway, of Missile C, Rifle C, Gatling C, Biped Legs, and a new leg ability called Momentum. Now, he's also capable of transforming into a new crafty mode, or as we in the Western community may know it as a demolition mode, exchanging the wheel-type vehicle mode for a new multi-pedal tank-type mode that is rather iconic for its scene in the anime. This meta change mode has a kit of Meta Sprayer, which is another brand new skill, Railgun, Max Vulcan, Multi Legs, and the Leg Ability of Globy. So already right off the bat, Psychachi C is going to be bringing some really powerful skills to the table, as you see here. But the general, the, the, the gist essentially as to what he is bringing to the table in his base mode is more or less, at least according to what was stated by Producer Son and Cheerful Bun when they were streaming this morning with it is this version of Saikachi is very heavily reminiscent of a fully tuned up TP commercial Saikachi. So for instance, the rifle is a standard rifle with the 30% pierce damage bonus, the Gatling is a standard Gatling with a crit rate boost, the missile is a um, it's just a higher ascension bonus with your damage. Momentum is going to be the only real new leg ability here minus Meta Sprayer, which is basically now a shooty version of Emit Blade. To explain momentum briefly, it's basically like voltage that we saw on Rokusho A, but instead now geared towards shooting skills, so definitely going to be seeing a lot of viability and versatility there. Now, you guys are probably wondering, and I'm going to go ahead and say it now, they did also confirm, next week we are getting a Dorcas C with a completely new kit as well, so stay tuned for that as well if you want to hold your hand, if you want to hold out for a uh, specialized KWG to join the roster as well. With the boat with the uh, boosted rates we're getting this week, it is also going to be relatively low key as well with a lot of very fun faces. This time around, also following behind uh, Saikachi C is KBT 14 Musha Beetle with Shooter Core, Long Shot, Charge Buster, Biped Legs, and Fortress. And we also have KBT 05 F Black Beetle, another very iconic and well beloved face with Missile, Rifle, Gatling, Biped Legs, and the Leg Ability of Through Shot. Now, Black Beetle is also capable of meta changing as well into a tank based form. And in this form, she exchanges her kit out entirely for Hyper Missile, Rifle, Gatling, Tank type legs, and the leg ability of Aim. Basically, exchanging a little bit of her balance for better damage reduction and just a little bit higher on the power overall. So, ultimately, whether you choose to go for Saikachi C, Musha Beetle, or Black Beetle, you're going to have some very solid raids all the way around with some very powerful KBT types at your disposal. 
Musha Beetle alone. If you're looking for someone that can bring the high power shooting and the heavy armor, you really don't have to look much farther than him with what he brings to the table. And Black Beetle with Brew Shot means she has that chance to constantly bypass any shields or conceal effects that are in play to guarantee that she's going to hit exactly who she wants entirely uninhibited by any attempts by the side. With the fierce battles we have this week, it's also going to be a little more diverse as well. Starting us off on this top row, we're beginning with GM GMN0 Gemini from Metarot Navi, with Optic Guard, Wave, Hold, Wheeled Legs, and the Leg Ability of Adapter. We have JOK0 Shoehorn with Heater, Beam, Power Rifle, Biped Legs, and Aim. And PLC01 Speed Alert with mo with a mobile boost, thunder, gatling, biped leg, or wheeled legs, and the leg ability of emergency. We also have on this bottom row here MDR0 Don Drill with virus, double hammer, biped legs, and rumbling. KAB0 Grade Kabuki with triple virus, wheeled legs, and charm. And then last but not least, we also have HMN0 Honey Monk with uh, Shoot Trap, Heater, Hammer, Biped Legs, and All-Rounder. So ultimately, we have a lot of very diverse skills that are available at our disposal this week for farming. Ultimately, G uh, Gemini and Shoeport are probably going to be the big MVPs of the week for a handful of reasons. Gemini specifically for Wheeled Legs with Adapter for a very nice, uh, relatively fair speed Wheeled Leg that you can use on any terrain fairly easily if it is, even if it is expensive to raise. Same can be said for Shoeport's Power Rifle, which has been immensely useful to newcomers and vets alike for its incredible base power and basically one you can farm for free no the other models here, Speed Alert for, mo for a Wheeled Legs with a solid ability and a free access to Thunder. Uh, 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 Don Drill also for very solid conventional hammers, even if they are heavy. Great Kabuki for Virus and uh, Speedy Wheeled Legs for, and Charm for Males, even if Great Kabuki is triple heavy. And Hanu Monkey as well for a nice all-rounder that get, brings a pretty diverse set of skills to the table. Ultimately, you can't go wrong with farming any one of these, but I would put some emphasis on Gemini and Shoeport if I had to pick an MVP of the week. Now, we did also get another pleasant surprise with the introduction of, uh, of uh, Saikachi C this week, and we are also getting a paint skin released with him as well. This time coloring him in a more of a uh, shiny gold kind of state, as you see here. Kind of reminiscent to the old uh, 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 transforming toys that used to be available in the day. Um, especially with the uh, translucent or even metallic version that were released as a limited edition. So, it is honestly really nice to see. I do expect the skin not to be super expensive, especially with the yen being relatively low right now with the price, and those extra rubies on the side are an added bonus on top of that. But, just as a friendly reminder, if you do not collect Saikachi C, but you buy the skin, this does unfortunately not mean that you get Saikachi C automatically. The skin is simply going to sit in your library on until you do end up getting him, and then it'll just simply sit there and look pretty until you do. So just a friendly reminder there. And given that we are getting Dorcas C next week, I do highly expect we will be seeing a platinum or a uh, silver style skin in the same manner that we are getting a gold skin for Saikachi C here. So do stay tuned with that next week as we get more information on him. We are also getting three, two more BGM packs situated around Metarot 3 to celebrate the anniversary for the game, of course. Uh, featuring a lot of iconic tunes between the two of these packs, such as Sunny Days, Shout, and Beat Up. Uh, Beat Up in particular is what I'm playing right now for the uh, video BGM in the background. Going to be very nice as well, but these video these audio packs don't really go anywhere based on what I've seen. Unless, of course, they're limited time collaboration. But that means you can basically pick them up at any time if you do feel the need to use them. You don't need them right away, but if you do choose to go after them, they are available in the web on the web store at any given time that you can implement and, and buy to download into your game. They really don't do anything aside from just some BGM alternatives in the background, but if Metarop 3 was your jam, well, this is most certainly going to be the BGM pack for you. We are also getting another wave of the four and a half year anniversary, of course, going into wave two with it, since this last week was wave one with the uh, Meta Pod Wheel of Fortune. This week around, it's going to be focusing on the blue ticket bonuses as we can earn more rewards. This time around, we'll be, having, we'll be getting an opportunity to earn more uh, anniversary or summer voices from Meta Rodders Hisaki and Ranunkula this time around. 
We can also earn the Elephant Medal, which is a rerun medal from previous events as well, which has a mastery in shooting, support, and defense, and leg masteries and biped multi tank. So going to be a very solid shooter type medal that you can make use of there. And given that it is power nature, it does give a lot of very solid alternatives as well and flexibility for the type of builds you can bring if you choose to use it. And we can also earn more limited time resources, such as uh, NFRPS chips, rubies, and other limited time resources that are normally a little harder to obtain outside various means. This event in particular will be ticket-based, much like last week, but this time focusing on the blue tickets, like I said. Highlighting the top bonuses here, Saikachi C at a plus 3 bonus per part, and because the bonuses are stacking per part now, thankfully, as of a patch a few updates ago, this means you can go in with pure set Saikachi C and not have to worry about spreading your bonuses. For the plus 2 bonuses, Musha Beetle and Black Beetle, as well as Pom Pom Mate and Fancy Ale will give you that plus 2 each, and the Fierce Battles at a plus 1, in addition to Sty Dryad from last week as the event reward. For Meta Rodders, SR Hiyori and Hisaki will give you a plus 1, as well as the N and R rank versions respectively of those two, plus Hirara and Arika. Now, for the higher bonuses for the uh, Meta Rodders, for the... Uh, blue ticket bonuses. Of course, an anniversary Hiyori, which is the front runner for the four and a half year anniversary with Cosme, will give you that plus three each, and a plus two for each of the respective anniversary Meta Rodders from previous years as well. So if you've had a chance to collect them thus far, this is going to be a relatively easy week for you as well, but if you're looking for another anniversary type model, I'd say this is most certainly going to be the Beetle Mania week for you. One final thing to note as well as far as game stuff is concerned, we are also getting a limited time super invasion to celebrate the four and a half year anniversary, featuring Amira Magus, uh, Saikachi C, and a first teaser and look at Dorcas C that we'll be seeing officially next week as a global model. But we'll be able to get just a little bit of a heads up into what he brings to the table going forward when he goes when he drops this coming week before we do actually know if he's going to be good or not next week. So, just a friendly reminder, this particular uh, an, uh, this particular Super Invasion is limited time, so make sure that you do go in and complete it sooner than later so that you can earn that nameplate and the limited time rewards as well. On the community front, we are still always looking for translators to assist us with any current projects or endeavors. Right now, Metarot 3 is still in that tentative 100% completion state, but we still do need a lot of translators to still kind of help us double check in, just check behind us and make sure everything's behaving as it should. Mostly just some minor bugs, some grammar fixes, and everything else of the like, but there still has been a lot of work going into Metarot 4 going into, in, in current days. So if you are knowledgeable in coding, cleaning, Japanese, or not have some time on your hands, or if you know somebody that is, feel free to reach out to us or ask around in our Discord as well. We'll be happy to fill you in on what has been done, what still needs done, and get you in touch with the right people to explain everything you need to know. The art highlights here on the MNN, like I said, I took a break last week just to kind of let that recharge a little bit because I normally kind of have to scramble. Well, I do and I don't because I still enjoy looking for all the arts that I like to retweet through the week anyway. But this week, of course, celebrating the anniversary of Metarots 2 and 3 specifically. And on that note, I actually found it really strange and rather interesting that they released Metarot 2 and 3 exactly one year apart to the day moments. Uh, July 23rd to back in uh, 1999 and uh, July 23rd in 2000. So, another interesting little tidbit in fact there in case you didn't know back in the day. But this piece here by Twitter user Hirano Kana S, or Miss, Hi or Miss Kana, who is the former uh, storyboard writer and supervisor for Metarots 1 through 4, and a good handful of chapters for Metarot S until fairly recently, back about a year ago. So, absolutely wonderful lady. I have the wonderful opportunity to be able to speak with her and ask her some personal questions on Metarots as well, and that's her thoughts on that in the background. And she definitely holds this series very closely to her heart, and it's very obvious with the art that she does and just how endearingly that she does share the official updates from the page as well. This piece here that she did to celebrate the uh, anniversary of Better Rock 3 is most certainly no exception to that love and effort she put into it, and how much that she loves her uh, the, the little bat fighting robots just as much as we do. And this one here by my dear friend Moen at Moen CHSI, highlighting another anniversary piece. 
uh, highlighting uh, Psychachis and Goldfin, who both debuted in Meta Rock 3 as well. And I honestly, I, I say it before and I'll say it again and I'll continue to say it, I love, I just absolutely love this pastel style, soft art style that Moen has with their art. It's absolutely fantastic. I love what they do and I just love seeing their art in my feed. Definitely give both of these artists a follow if you'd like to see more of their art in your feeds on the regular, on the daily. One final note as well before I do wrap us up here, and it is a relatively quick episode now that I think about it, but again, not a whole lot of new stuff per se, but still very exciting all the same. Just a friendly reminder, I am always open for commission, so if you are looking for a live 2D model ready to rig for your VTubing needs, if you're looking for a 3D model of varying needs fully rigged and ready to go, uh, standard art, I do emotes as well. If you're looking for any of this without having to break the bank, feel free to reach out to me on Discord or on Twitter, and we can most certainly try to make something happen. Um, I will continually just uh, mention this as well in future episodes, much like I have been, because um, I have bills to pay, unfortunately, and uh, money is most certainly not coming easy. And I'm more than certain that's probably the case with all of us, but if you do have a few bucks to send my way, either for a a commission or even a throne, which I do have in the links below as well. If you'd like to just support me in any way, I will put that there. But no pressure to do so. Again, if you'd like to look for art, feel free to reach out to me and we can most certainly make something happen. But I believe that covers basically everything for this week's episode, so like I said, not a whole lot of new new stuff per se, minus Saikachi C, and just, a, and just an overview of what to expect as we go into the second wave of the four and a half year anniversary for Metara S. But with that being said, if you'd like to know more, you can follow us below on Facebook at the Metarot News Network page and the Metabots Forever community on there, which is still skyrocketing in members by the day at this point. You can also join us on Discord in the link provided and in the comments below to the official Project Rising Beetle Discord server. So if you'd like to keep it even closer ear to the ground on any action or news regarding updates, fan art, contests, uh, my weekly episodes, or anything else of the like, that is definitely the first place you're going to hear it before it goes anywhere else on the net. Lastly, you can also follow me on Twitter at IsagamiKura if you have any questions, feedback, comments, suggestions, or if you'd like to look for art and commission me, or if you are a streamer, VTuber, or content creator of any kind, if you'd like to collaborate with me, such as having you here on the MNN with me, of which there is always an, an, an extra seat here at the news desk, or if you'd like to have me stop in on your channel for a friendly chat and a visit, definitely reach out to me as well, and you can most certainly try to coordinate some schedules and make something happen. Finally, definitely give the official Metarots S and Metarots Shop pages on Twitter a follow as well to get your news straight from the source on Twitter. So if you want to know where I get my news and try to stay up to date with it as well, those are the places that you're going to be hearing from it first. And of course, the official Metarot uh, channel on YouTube. But with all that being said, as always, I do appreciate you all for stopping in just as you always do. And until next time, this is your host, Kurt Insigami of the Metarot News Network, signing out.